Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Elite Dangerous. Today I am starting the video on my way to a conflict zone. Uh, the reason for that is because I need to make one million um, combat bonds so I can unlock Jury Ishmak. Oh guys, it has been a very long time since I uploaded a video of Elite Dangerous. Um, I did record one literally two days ago. And guess what, that recording failed miserably. It's working fine, but then halfway through the video, the sound just cut off. There's no sound whatsoever, so I, I, I had to delete it. Um, so I'm doing another one. Which is a shame because I did explain quite a lot in that video, so I have to do it all over again. So here we are, we are back. So I'm going to get 1 million credits, Ben Palin, and I'm doing this for the Anaconda. Because once I get the Anaconda where I want it for 2.2, when we get the ship launch fighters, I will talk a bit more about 2.2 as well in today's video. I will miss out a load of things mentioned, but I will try my best to answer like, what I can pretty much. So we've got ship launch fighters. You can launch a ship fighter from the Beluga liner, the Anaconda, Corvette, Killback. Type 7, nope, sorry, Type 9. But I need to concentrate now. See, now they're all the same colour. So, whose team do I go on? Now, let's just go for. Oh. So it's Empire and Empire. Okay. So it doesn't really matter who we go for. Any big ships to kill? Yep, a python there. Now with these modified weapons, we do get very hot very quick. There are so many ships flying around. This is insane. And they're all on my team as well. Are we winning by any chance? Right fellas, where are we going next? That guy? Now as you can see, with these modified weapons they do not last very long. Whoa, Cobra, that was close. Oh, good shot. He's dead. Nice. This guy next by the looks of it. See, this is what I like. I like being in a group. So I have no shield cell banks on this ship. I find it pretty pointless really because they're only a class... I got a class... what? 6 shield or 5 shield? I think it's class 5. Let's have a look here quickly. Shield, shield, yeah 5A. So that would mean we would have a, a 4B shield cell bank on here. And to be honest, with the upgrades that I've done to my shields, 
through the engine is if I pop a class 4 shield cell bank it will do nothing to my shields like it won't recharge them at all I'm going to stay with the pack but uh, type 9's no, I'm going over here so yeah what I might as well do I might as well go outside my ship take a piss on my hull and then the crusty layer that dries that's how much shield generation I would get if I use a shield cell bank so pretty hardly anything <laughs> he's nearly dead I've lost a group I got caught in conversation Where is everybody? They're all over there. I'm coming, fellas. I see the pack has split up a little bit. It's not a problem. We can kill most of these ships and get the pack joined up again. Now I'm gonna apologize for moving my head around really quick. I had a complaint in my previous video. Well, it wasn't a complaint, it was a suggestion that I watch my videos before posting them because they are very jittery the way I move my head around. I can't help it, when I talk my cheeks move, so in turn the Oculus Rift moves, which makes the camera shake. And I do apologise, I'm very sorry about the video being zoomed in. It's not my fault. I can't fix it. Target destroyed. Well, he's not going to last very long, is he? That poor thing. The Imperial Fighter. Now, let me know what fighter you will fly when Ship Launch Fighter comes about. Will you fly the Imperial Fighter, the Condor, or the brand new, oh bollocks, what is, what is it called, Taipan? Yeah, I think it's called a Taipan. But anyway, it looks like a butterfly, an angry, pissed off butterfly. And I think that ship belongs to the Alliance. So the Alliance now have got a fighter. I'm only getting small ships, I want big ships like anacondas, pythons and whatnot. But more will pop in eventually. Got a nice scout. Oh, typical. I have to reload. Now he's using the chaff. All right, mate.
confusing chaff again. That's right, I'll just boost into him. There you go, he's dead. Well, where's the group gonna go? Where are you off to? See, with these modifications on this ship, oh, and they're only competent. It's just a high, it is high intensity. So, why is it so low ranking ships? Right, this is the last ship in the area. See how long you'll last. Not long at all. Right, now where? Oh, oh, big ship. We have a big ship. Well, it's a clipper, but. Expert. Oh, so it's going to be easy to kill. I thought it was a bit easier to kill all the NPCs. I'm just following my teammates. It looks like there's no one left. We've won! We are victorious! Oh, hello. Some brave souls have popped in. Come on, stop using chaff. Ooh, good shot. Hyphen. Target shields are flying. I'm 
I'm liking this, just running with the team. Under attack. Holy shit. We need more power, Captain. Will you stop that? Ow. That's the conflict zone done. Here is some I made earlier. So I've already done 1.3 million. Stop shooting at me. Um, this is what I got now. Not too bad. So now, fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this guy. He's running away. <laughs> Typical. Four, three, two, one, engage. So, what else have we got coming into 2.2? Well, we've got new station variants. Um, we've got high tech stations, agricultural stations, tourism stations. Uh, refinery stations and that will also mix between the industrial I believe I could be wrong we've also got passenger missions coming and a brand new ship the beluga liner so we're getting two new ships in this update um, what else Super Cruise, not Super Cruise, sorry, Hyperspace or Witch Space, the one we're just about to go into, has got a revamp. Um, all the gases are different. You've got stars flying past you. It's not as flat as it is now. Well, I don't know yet, yeah, actually. Um, and right in front of you, you will see the star you're jumping towards. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome, yeah? Um, I also believe white dwarfs 
stars. When you jump into a white dwarf, you can now use the actual sun itself to give you a boost with your frameshift drive. Now this will damage your frameshift drive. Four, three, but two, one, and they've got a lot of science behind them now. Like you've got all the flares through the gravitational differences between the pole and the center. Pretty much the center is not no, the pole's spinning faster than the center, which creates like a huge gravity and magnetic field or whatever. And yeah, we can use that to our advantage, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go on the hunt for a white dwarf star when that comes out. Ship launch fighters, as I said. Um, AI ships. Well, AI... Warning. Temperature critical. I'm messing this up, and I... AIs that can help you out so you can fly your fighter while they fly your ship vice versa it's the other way around so that's pretty cool you can buy one of them and he'll be with you forever you can rank him up to elite but if your ship blows up with him inside it yeah he's gone forever Oh, I'm so glad to be back. It's working perfectly as well. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I did record a video about two days ago, and that one went to shit. And the game wasn't running as well as it is now. Um, it would be stuck in hyperspace for a while. It would Every time I pop into a station, it would take a while to pop in and if I go to a conflict zone, there'll be no ships there, and then five minutes later, they will start popping in. You know, and I found out it was my connection. It was my internet. Four, Even though I've done tests two, on other games, one, it was all working fine, but at certain points, it kept disconnecting from the internet, and then reconnect, and then work fine again. Um, so I reset the route, well, I've done all that jazz. It, I was still having problems, so in the end, I done the old-fashioned way. I turned it off and back on again, and it's working fine. So now I'm going to jump in the anaconda. And then I'm going to head to the engineer to see what he can offer me. I believe all he does are mine launchers and missiles. Which is, it's okay because I got missiles on the Anaconda anyway, so I could use some upgrades for them. So guys, next time you see me, I'll be inside the, blah, 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 I'll be inside the Anaconda on my way to Palin, not Palin. Finger me, Bobby. Jury Ishmak. Right then, guys, I will see you in a minute. Bye bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I have got temperature critical. four more jumps to go. And I, the reason why I brought you back is because I want to say some more things before I go on about the engineer. The first one is the anaconda when it gets hot. Heat damage. I'm doing this on purpose. This is for science. Just look. You probably can't see it as much as I can. But the amount of sparks and flames Warning. I can see. It's just... Okay, 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 okay. It's just insane. Look, there's fires coming out of the vents over there. So... It's okay back there, it's not a problem. We okay? All the fire's out. Yeah. So, in my eyes, the anaconda and the eagle, when they get hot, they go mental when it comes to sparks. Every other ship's pretty okay. 
The second thing I want to talk about is this. Every time I look over, you see it pops up. Now you can change that on the settings. You just go on there, so you have to hit a button to go over. Now that's what I had before, before I had the Oculus Rift. But I'll tell you a story. When I had the Oculus Rift, when I was wearing it, walking around my ship, I walked in to my flight chair and there's a button on the side which is like a pinky switch and I used to use that as my lights and my landing gear but I broke it because I walked into it so I moved my lights to the buttons that I had when I moved my screens across so I could do this and the ones that I've done when I go to look over to get them to get them up, I use to uh, to navigate around. So, in all fairness, I haven't really got any more buttons in a comfortable reach of my hands where I feel comfortable having lights in my landing gear. But I have got a spare part coming. Then, now when that comes in the post I will fit it and I will change my configuration back from what I had it before. So I can finally get rid of them when I look over here. So that will be coming, which I'm glad about. And I want to thank you for mentioning it as well, because you saved my life once again. And now, the reason why I'm outfitting the Anaconda is for my co-pilot, pretty much, because if I go to a war zone now, I will not take this ship with me. I will take a smaller ship, a faster ship, with better shields and better hull, pretty much. Because the Anaconda is pretty obsolete now, really. Um, when a game first came out, if you've seen an Anaconda, you know you would be scared shitless. Every time I, well, well I did anyway. Even a Python. When I seen a Python in Super Cruise, especially a player, I would keep my eye on him at all times. If you get just, if I think he's about to interdict me, I'll just emergency stop. But now, you know, with, with all these engineers, upgrades and whatever, we can outfit our ships pretty strong. Um, so when we get the ship launch fighters, I will be in the fighter at all times when I'm flying the Anaconda. I will not be fighting in this ship. Now they've changed the, the way the AI flies. If you're inside an Anaconda or any big ship, you spend most of your time in a turning Three, battle two, and then when one, you do engage. have your enemy in front of you you just give him more firepower than a smaller ship would but a smaller ship can give more firepower for longer because it can fly better if you know if you get if you know what i mean here we go so we'll test it out on this guy big haul like that so well daryl should i say Emily, where, where is she? It's not on the radar. Okay. The Peter's Memorial, right in front of us. And the last thing I want to talk about, I, I know I keep moving the rift, I do apologize. It's really, that really upset me, that comment I got. I do, I, I'm sorry guys, I really am. It must be hard. Um, yes, I've changed my name. So my name is Mr. Foster. Not Commander S. Foster. It's Commander Mr. Foster. Now the reason why I've done that, because pretty much everyone I talk to always calls me by Mr. Foster, never S. Foster. So I kindly asked Frontier for a favour to see if they can change my name. 
And they did, to my surprise. I wasn't expecting them to. But they did. Which is a bit weird, because when I first made my commander name, this is going back when the game first got released at Christmas and everyone's game got reset. Well, no. The Gamma stage. After the Gamma stage, we kept... Players in Gamma kept the ship. Yes, yeah, so I named my name in the Gamma stage. And that I did put Commander... Well, Mr. Foster. And it's already been taken. So I have no idea how I've got it now. There's Emily. And she's in the Anaconda. Come on then, girl. Get behind me. Oh, God, that sounded so wrong. <laughs> Oh god. You want shall I get behind you instead? I've got a interdictor. So if you don't interdict me, if you fly straight past me. No, nope, she's got me. Come on then, girl. See if your bollocks are big enough. Oh, yes, I keep my life. Okay. Do you know what I've got on this ship? We're going to be nose to nose the whole time, honey bunny. We will kiss throughout this adventure. Warning, temperature critical. It's getting hot in here. Who's got stronger shields and turreted weapons? Look at that. That's all I've changed on my loadout on this ship. Instead of having um, gimbaled pulse lasers, I now have turreted pulse lasers, missiles, and the hammer. Oh, hello! Thanks for dropping by. Scan detected. Looks like I've got some help. Warning. Taking heat damage. I'm getting hot. Retracted. Warning. Heat sink deployed. Target destroyed. Thank you, police. You've done wonders. Now I'm off to go and get some upgrades to the mine Four, missiles. Three, two, one, engage. See the anaconda in a fight is really really good. Especially when you have it fully A-rated, even with military grade composite. Actually I don't think I've got military grade on the anaconda. I believe it's just lightweight because the shields are so good and you can stack this thing full of uh, pole reinforcements. No, 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 I have got miniature grade composite and I've got a shitload of hull reinforcements as well. I believe my shields are about just under, no, sorry, just over 1000 mega jewels or whatever and my hull is 2,000 in strength, so hull points, whatever they are. And I haven't even upgraded my hull reinforcements with an engineer yet. So I need to unlock her. Ah, oh, you're on the dark side. It's okay, I will join the dark side. So yeah guys, if you want to add me as a friend, then go ahead, it's Mr. Foster. Um, just let me know who you are in the comments, and I will accept. And if you want to fly on a wing, you can do that, it's not a problem. It's always nice to fly with someone else. I am in open pay. Oh, there we go. 
What's the gravity on this planet? 0 0.13. So who's got the heavy planet? I know someone's got 1.9G or something. That tower looks like a rocket. Falcon WC Light, Romeo Foxtrot Heavy Flight Control Online. Welcome, Commander. Request docking permission if you wish to land. Mike Clearance Romeo. Wanted. Proceed to landing pad. Mike. Zero. Shut up. Mike Romeo Foxtrot. That's what my call sign is now. Well, is it a call sign? I don't know the actual proper word for it. It used to be Sierra Foxtrot Oscar. And now, to be honest, I'm pretty gutted about my name change, really, because Sierra Foxtrot Oscar sounds a lot better than Mike Romeo Foxtrot. Landing gear not deployed. Oh, deploy my landing gear. Every time I come to a station, you say it's not deployed. Landing gear deployed. It concerns you that much? Do you want to get inside my ship and land it for me? Here we go. Right. Landing operation complete. Commence system shutdown. Welcome, Commander. Engineer workshop. Now, I already handed in 364,000. So I'll just donate the other 600 odd. So, what does he do? Torpedoes, mines, and missiles, and that's it. Oh, you bastard. So I still got all these combat bonds. And I can't... Why is that still saying 1.3 million? No, okay. Ah, I'll keep them on me then. You're not having them. I was hoping to give him more combat bonds to get me up the grid. So missiles, the max we can have is class 3. So let's see what we can do. Mechanical scrap, I've got 20 of them. Mechanical scrap. Phosphorus, I can use do that. Sturdy amount, nickel, there we go. So we'll just get rid of load of nickel until we get to grade 3. To do this about 15 times. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is where I break the game now, you watch. <laughs> it's gonna blow up. Please wait. Ah, oh, shit, I broke it. Ooh, experimental munitions that disrupt engine exhaust flow on the target. Temporarily preserved, preventing ENG power distributor. Engine power. Wow. Oh, that's pretty awesome. So what can we actually do? Overload experimental munitions that convert a portion of explosive damage to thermal. Eh, yeah, what's this one? Oh, exhaust flow. Remove effect. Choosing this option will leave your rep unchanged, but your module will no longer have any special effect applied. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just remove effect. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck it out. Emissive munitions. So it just so this one, if he's um, using silent running, emissive rounds will light him up so he can be seen. But at the cost of increasing heat generation for the attacker. 
So I will get a lot of heat if I use these because it says for the attacker. So I'm the attacker, not the victim here. So that is, that will catch you out if you don't read it properly. Thermal Cascade. Interact with shields upon the heat into, heat into the target. So does he need shields to be able to use these? I don't know. That's free. Oh, because this is what I'm getting now, I see. So the best one for missiles is either these top two, Thermal Cascade or Overload. That turns it to an explosive damage to Thermal. And that one puts heat into the target through his shields that interact with shields upon detonation. Yeah. So I think I'll go for overload munitions. So where are we to? Grade 2, 77%. Right, let's go. That should do it. There we are, so grade three. So what do we want? Sturdy mount. Ah, oh, we need shit. We need stuff. So high capacity magazine, rapid fire. Ooh, this sounds good. Osmium. I need fucking osmium. I have to mine for this. Oh, I don't want to mine. You're making me mine. The shit. Um, lightweight sturdy mount, sturdy mount. Oh, I'm sorry, lightweight mounts, sturdy mount. So the best one to go for high capacity magazine. See that is produced by a facility so I can get these very quickly and that's a high capacity so I can have more rockets in my thingy pretty much but I really really want the rapid fire sequence even though it's less damage armor piercing up fire rate up damage per second up only a little bit of damage down, jitter up. Ah, uh, I could shit. Specialized legacy firmware. I need to get more of this stuff. That's easy enough to find. Looks like I got, I got some work to do before I get this then. Alright, so we'll pin that blueprint. Radio, so that's it. We can't do nothing. That's a shame. But at least we unlocked that engineer. I need to unlock her, but I really can't be bothered to go and do a couple of missions for the Blue Mafia. Celine Jean, I need you, Celine. I need you so bad. So I need to mine over, well, 95 more tons of cargo. And I believe as well she needs 100 tons of mined cargo on the next one after I unlock, after I mined 500. I'm not too sure, I'll have to do some research. So what I might do is get in my mining shit, go out here, do some mining, at the same time get some osmium. It's only one I need, so uh, let's say what, four? Four osmium will be fine. And then hopefully I can spend the day out there, unlock her, get the stuff for her as well, so. 
I can probably get two engineers where I want them on my next step. Cool. I'm happy. Well, I'm not really happy. I just wasted a lot of time coming out here. But, yes. Apart from that, guys, I am 94% Tycoon. So, I'm really close to Elite Dangerous. I've done another run from Sophus. And, as well, I haven't been using the exploit, as it were. Um, pe some people will switch from open to solo. I do not have a problem with that. A load of people do it. And, like I said, until they fix it, people are going to be continuing to be doing it. Um, but I found an easier way. Well, a way that I find it's a bit... I don't hate myself. Pretty much. Because... I know if I switch from open to solo to get missions that I want then there's no real achievement if you know what I mean but that's just my personal preference I really don't care so I was running from Sophis to Seos and picking up any missions I can for long range smuggling whilst doing um, courier missions between the those two systems and then I'll spend a, well probably about half an hour jumping between the two picking up missions and then I'll run back to civilized space so yeah that's that's I don't know the proper way if you can call it that so I've got one more run to do and then I should be elite and then that'll be it for trading and then my next will be my exploration rank but the downside is when I do exploration, I will not be recording any videos uh, because it's quite boring exploring. The only exciting part is when you've reached your destination. So I might make an account, well, use my other account to have fun while I, whilst I explore. Right, Chiho then. Um, I. I've missed out so much in this episode that I wanted to say and I know it's not the plan that I had planned literally about a month ago now. I've got a couple ideas in the pipeline. There's this mission I want to take for one video and another video I'm, I'm going to talk to you about my career, about my Elite Dangerous career and how I got to where I am today from the very start to the present. That could be a long story. <laughs> a very long story. So guys. For the time being. This will be it. I'm going to leave it here. And I will see you. In the next video. Alright folks. Bye bye.